Hey guys. Hi guys. All right, so we have another Batman cow from DC Collectibles. This is now our fourth one. And that means there's only two more to go in this lineup, I guess, in this series. We've got uh, Red Sun and the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight, the Nolan Dark Knight. So we don't have too many of them left. Although we haven't had a pre-order up yet for the Dark Knight, so I'm not exactly sure when that's going to occur. I'm really looking forward to the Red yeah, Sun Yeah, I am looking forward <laughs> to the Red Sun as well. So this one is Nightfall Batman. So this one I've been really excited about, actually, because Nightfall Batman is not something we typically see. No. Mainly because it's not Bruce Wayne. Honestly, is... when it first came in, I was like, uh, when did <laughs> Batman become a robot? <laughs> like, well, we're going to explain yeah, this, this to me. This isn't uh, something Ashley's familiar with. No. Obviously, I go more deep into the Batman stuff than Ashley does um, but this is actually a really interesting story so if you guys aren't familiar with nightfall batman you've probably seen probably the most famous thing of this series this line uh, when bane breaks batman's back now we saw sort of a, uh, a they alluded to that anyways in the mm -hmm. nolan series in dark knight rises where bane put him over and broke his, not really break his back but in, uh, in the it came pretty daggone close really really great comic series the original series run anyways uh where batman has to take on the entire, almost the entire rogues gallery, basically, until he's so tired, then Bane comes in and breaks his back, and Batman has to go, you know, he's got a broken back, so he's not Batman anymore, and then Azrael, Jean-Paul Valley, takes over as Batman, and if you know anything about him, he's got a very strange outfit, uh, he's got just a weird look to yeah. him, right? You probably saw him in the video game, although that's not the same in the comic books, at least not the look of him and everything. Uh, but he gets wild and crazy, and he gets belligerent and kills people in the comics. And then he kind of uh, uh, tarnishes Batman's name. And then Batman eventually gets healed in certain ways, uh, where he's fine and he takes over Batman again. But then the next few arcs in the comics, it's him trying to get his name back. Because mm -hmm. it's difficult, because he kind of <laughs> ruined it for him yeah. by being crazy and belligerent. But, uh, yeah. So that's what we have, and the Nightfall Batman, when when uh, Azrael becomes Batman, he has a very wild, wild look to him, and he does kind of look like a robot. He does. Honestly. Keeping in mind, this is in the 80s, and you know how the 80s designs were. They were wild in, in their self, Very so. clunky. Yeah, so let's uh, open this up and see what we have. We have number 77 of 5,000. Oh, that's cool. If you cool. guys aren't familiar with what these COAs look like, there you go. And uh, yeah, let's open this up and see see what we got here now if you watched our previous videos on these cows of course we've done three videos with four cows um, and if you guys haven't seen those we'll put the links to those down below or one of the eyes where you can check them out we did have one that was broken the dark knight one ended up coming broken but everything was fixed and no problem it was quick and if you hear a train in the background my apologies it's just loud where we live and there's no there's no fixing it there's no stopping it yeah so let's throw that foam off there and this thing looks cool so far so cool it's a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be yeah i bet it's going to be heavy because of how much, sure. how much there it. is wow no this is one of the lighter ones really that's so strange i thought that would be the heaviest of them all i bet it's like more of a plastic than the other ones or something i don't know wow this is way way lighter than the prior ones wow that really is a lot lighter yeah noticeably so very very strange it's almost like these are hollow i bet uh -huh. now as opposed to the, yep. the, maybe they're changing the way they do these. This is actually a good idea. If you do want to continue this mm -hmm. and maybe hollow out these things to make them lighter, I am fully in agreement of doing that because you want them to be light because if you're going to do multiple ones on your shelf, mm -hmm. they start to get heavy and you got to worry about these things, right? Well, so, plus the weight of it with shipping and stuff, it's going to cost more for shipping and then you have the potential of it breaking that base with yeah. it being heavier. As long as the base is solid, then we're good. Yeah. So yeah, here we go. The uh, Nightfall Batman, the Azure. I always liked that logo, that bat symbol <laughs> for, the, for the Nightfall Batman. So yeah, he is very robot-like. I it? will say, when you show me a picture of him, his hands were really wicked looking. He's got these weird yeah. claws. Yeah. That, like that, I said, man, that logo totally fits 80s. That. Again, we have another good paint app on this. The blue is kind of almost like a metallic -ish It blue. looks metallic. It looks shiny. Yeah, it definitely has a metallic look to it. And then you have the red eyes. Now these, the thing about Nightfall Batman is it's kind of strange because you see him in all different cowls where this one's kind of like more of the armored version you do see other ones where there's it's not like a solid red visor where it's actually eyes and if you guys are prime one statue fans you'll probably you probably have seen 
the uh, the Prime One Nightfall Batman <laughs> statue, which is incredible. What an incredible statue! Mm -hmm. And it comes with three different head sculpts. The exclusive does, and yeah. they're all amazing. So in this one, we're getting kind of more of the armored version mm -hmm. of it. Um, yeah. So again. Good paint job, good paint nap, and that's usually the most important thing. This one's a lot different than the other ones we got because the other ones had more detail, um, like roughness and textures on the cows. Yep. Where this is a smooth uh, metal look. And, and they have hollowed mouths. Yeah, and hollowed mouths. Yeah, good point. Mm -hmm. This one does. This one actually right. doesn't have that hollowed out mouth, so right. this one looks a lot more. It looks like more like a bust. Cow. Yeah, a, a real bust. Yeah. So, yeah, and that's kind of strange because it is so much lighter. That's mm -hmm. probably why they could do it hollow. Because they don't Probably. have the mouth Probably. That's like a that. good point, yeah. Yeah, so. Again, great base. Great <laughs> paint app. I love the, the gold neck on it. And they give mm -hmm. you a little bit of shading within there. A little shadow work. A um, little washing, too, around the edges. It and looks like he really belongs good. in a like, toy story as a toy. You know what I mean? Like, the design of him. <laughs> He'd be a mean toy. Man. He would. Yeah. He'd so, fit with Spike. <laughs> <laughs> I just love these. I really, really do love these. These are my favorite thing to collect right now in the DC Collectibles. So much so that I don't really collect the Batman black and white statues as much anymore. Because again, these are about the same price. You're looking at about an 80, 70 mm -hmm. to $80 price point. Don't pay any more because again, I've said it on every video, you'll see these things for about 100 bucks on different websites like Hot Topic. Don't spend that much. Maybe wait till you have points or what, whatever, whatever you got to do. Pay you'll find them price. on sale somewhere. Yeah, you'll find them on sale. And a lot of them are selling out. So if you guys do mm -hmm. like them, uh, you know, you want to make sure you get on this early because usually if this thing will last a few years, these early ones are going to be the ones yes. that are going to be hard to find, which is typically That's how That's part of, are. like, with the black and white series, why it's so frustrating because some of those early ones are so expensive now. It's kind of like, do I really want to buy this or do I want to buy a hot toy? You know, it's kind of like. <laughs> it's eh. true. What'd you pay for that Bane one you got me? Over two hundred. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it was a lot. She paid over two hundred dollars for a black and white statue. I was like, Ashley, what are you doing? She's like, I thought you wanted it. I was like, dang. <laughs> I was like, I love you. Here you go. <laughs> I was like, no. But it is an awesome statue. It's really cool. so. Yeah, I, I really can't wait to see where they go uh, with this line. I don't know if we're going to have to wait for San Diego Comic-Con or New York Toy Fair. Ooh, that's or a good point. I don't know where we're going to have to wait to see the next round of these. Because, again, we are coming up to the end of the what, what we've seen. I bet we're going to see them sprinkled in at New York Toy Fair. We're going to see maybe an exclusive for New York Comic-Con and San Diego sure Comic-Con. I mean, that'd be great. So I'm assuming that's what we'll they see. They released these things so quickly. Mm -hmm. I mean, they dropped... We well, only knew about this since well, San Diego Comic Con, I feel like. Yeah. And it's we've already been gone less than through. A year. We've already gone through five of them. Mm -hmm. Almost on the sixth, and then the seventh will be well, the last one. Well, you think the simplicity of the design is probably a lot easier for them to manufacture than it would be for a full blown statue. Especially considering the bases are all the same. Exactly. It's literally just head swaps. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically yeah. all it is. So guys, there you go. Nightfall. If you guys are interested in this uh, cow bust statue, whatever you want to call it, we'll put links down below for you guys to check them out. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.